Bloomies are forever. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa. I'm Bear. And today I am wearing the t-shirt my sister sent me. Very nice. And it says, of course, Bloomies are forever. These are huge landscaping bags, right? Yes, and that's one of the benefits of buying lots of clothes. You get free garbage bags. <laughs> And you haven't seen anything. I've not seen anything. I've, I've moved the large three bags several times. Now, I know. But I've not seen anything. The first item is Hallmark Vintage Gift Wrap that says birthday girl for our niece. I thought that was very fun for That would dollar. be Tima. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good job. Yep. The next item you'll probably see in our background. I'm going oh. to detach it from the bottom. Oh, this okay. is a leap pad working like talking globe, it works. It was five dollars. So. All right, so you're just gonna cut that off somehow. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, assume. I I'm going. To yeah, that's, <laughs> why, that's why I was chuckling. Yeah. But I, I like the color, of course. Sure. The next bag. They are a set of six vintage placements. What do we are calling these? Well, that's why I was wondering what they were. Can, you, can we take one yeah, out? Yeah, take it out, man. Okay. And you're kind of oh, okay, great. Oh. They were two fifty. Oh, it is plate. Yeah, it's for your plate. It is a placemat of sorts, but okay. it's only big enough. It's not, it's only big enough to put a plate on. I think. Yeah, very cool though. Yeah. It was six dollars. Nope, not six dollars. Six pounds sixty six. Nope. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> These will wipe off. They have a little bit of markings, but that'll wipe off with a magic eraser. Magic erasers are very good. Oh, that one's new. My girl uh, had to convince me of the quality of the magic erasers, but she's she's transformed me now. I'm a believer. Plus, on Amazon, you can get them for less than six dollars shipped for one hundred. They take care of a lot of stuff. In fact, we have a ceramic uh, cooktop, mm -hmm. and I use it. You have to push on it, but I use it for that. You don't have to worry about ever scratching. Yes. Set those aside. Cool. Right? They yeah. had one hanging up on the wall they wanted two dollars for, but the pack of six was two fifty. We weren't gonna question it. Yeah. We are down to clothing in this particular bag. So we're gonna go a little fast. We're gonna go That'll be the plan. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Okay, I'm, I'll say prices. This was three dollars. It is a size two X cold water creek black lace top. It's pretty. Nice. You could wear it with a skirt for... You would look lovely in that. <gasps> Thank you. Yes. Solid black is, is hard to photograph sometimes, but worth it. I search for solid black pieces a lot. This is lovely. The brand name is Culnane, but the most important part is it's 50% Angora rabbit hair. Made in Hong Kong, so it is vintage. Feel it. Um, okay. Well, it's very soft, but are you saying that this is actual bunny sir? Yes. <laughs> I, I can't believe that you're, you're glossing over that so lightly. Yeah, normally you it's would... second hand. Okay. And it's bit vintage, so I'm not as particular. Well, you know, I totally wasn't trying to like, call yeah. you out or anything. Oh, I just no. didn't understand because I knew, that, I knew there was something about these. Yes. Not these in particular, just like any yeah. brand that would hurt an animal or anything. I know. But very cool. Yeah. Three dollars. Pin up, uh, fuzzy is a good word. Cropped cardigan. It's got little satin covered buttons. Did you use the word pin up because that's like a, a pin up, like a pin up what a pin up girl might wear? Possibly. I don't know if this like this old time pin up. Yeah. Place. Oh, got a rabbit hair on my. <laughs> Um, if this was solid and a full piece, yeah. it might be a little bit more, thank you, <laughs> pin up -y. But, um, definitely fuzzy, angora, I'll put other keywords at the bottom of the screen if I think of them. Next item, Michael Simon. Ooh, do you see how fancy this label yes, is? Yes, I do. I yes. know. And it's got... Those are really cute. Yeah, what, what are they? Um, well, they're different kind of insects, right? Are they? Yes. Like this, I think is, this moths. is like, well, but th is this a moth too? Yeah, I think they're okay. all butterflies maybe. Well, I see, I thought that too, but I don't think it can all be butterflies. So that's why I said insects. That's why I yeah. went with insects. I don't know. 
The knit looked amazing. Like there's no fuzziness. Well, it looks brand new. I, it looks yeah. brand new. Because that's, that's what it means when they're not fuzzy, correct? Yes. Three dollars. Great. Okay. The next item is by far my favorite item. I might keep it. Oh, I'm going to say it's something awful then. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, sweet. If you like that, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Just keep it. <laughs> I might keep this. This makes me so happy. It was $30. Okay. I'm going to shake it a little bit because it was by the rabbit hair. Oh, man. That's a... Uh, come on. <laughs> you have to keep that. It's cotton. It does have some yellowing. I should that's be able to get that out in the wash, though. It's got pockets. Even if it just hangs in my closet for a few months, it's going to make me it's gonna bring you joy. so happy. Don't worry, Maria. Condo. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> Mary. 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 Mary Condo. Don't she worry. pronounces it Mary, I think. Yeah, but, but I'm, my point was that'll yeah. bring you joy even if it's oh just hanging goodness. in the closet. Can we hang that and frame that? <laughs> do things like that. Yes. I would totally do things like that if I had huge gallery walls. <laughs> I really thought you were going to be like, if I had a different husband. <laughs> I really thought that's where you were going. No. Okay, this is super itchy, but it was a dollar. And some lady took this out of my cart. And I was like, oh, that's mine. My cart was piled so high. I yeah. kind of get it. And she's like, oh, you're just taking everything. <laughs> I was like, no, in fact, I've only been here for like 20 minutes. You should have been like, oh, no, you did. It's on. <laughs> That would have been so you, right? That would have been so, so you. That's so and I was like, I'm so sorry. I haven't gone through the coats yet. I haven't gone. She's like, oh, I should just leave. Okay. Sounded like a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the best thing that happened. Hold this up with me. All right, sure. Oh, yes, it is very yucky. It was $4 originally. Is it $4 originally? That's what they had this at? But it was a dollar because it was coat. Okay, but what did this retail for? Oh, this That's retailed awesome. for a lot. I'm going to guess, this is vintage, so again. Okay, so, but what is this oh, yucky is. stuff? They wanted $20 for it. What this is, is wool? Is it wool? That's what I I'm, have I'm no idea. It's terrible. horrible. Yes. You're absolutely right. That's what I'm saying. So what did this thing originally retail for? Uh oh, possibly, I, I really don't know, maybe 100 Why, though? <laughs> Why would it even be 100 Because of the material? Me. Yeah, the material, Which the style, it's satin lined. I'm guessing it's wool. It doesn't say. Okay. Paul Levy. I'll have to look it up. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I'll look it up. Yeah, well, throw that over there. I don't yeah, want to touch terrible. it anymore. Yeah, oh, that was worse than the rabbit hair. <laughs> <laughs> Next item. This was originally seven. It was a dollar. It's a cape. A cape? Yeah, it's a cape. Also, it smells vintage. It was made in Poland. Well. Hold on. Okay. It just, you stick your arms. Okay, I see, I see what it, I see what you have on. on. I couldn't tell when it was just looking yeah. at it. But yes, it it's kind just, of yeah. looks like Burberry. You know, every time we go to the Burberry <laughs> store, they're like... I, I don't know, I've said that to myself many times. <laughs> I know, right? That, it looks like Burberry. That's what <laughs> I've said. It's camel, it's vintage, it's cotton. It does have a few little marks. Well, so this is go. supposed to be a raincoat of sorts, right? I'm guessing it's supposed to be a liner. No, I, I don't think it's a raincoat. It's got quarter. Okay, well, what kind of, I mean, what kind of coat would that have to go in if that's just a liner? That Burberry. <laughs> a Burberry cape coat? That's what my point. That's not a, that's like an overcoat then. That's not a cape. Yeah, I don't know. It's really cool. Okay. This has a, let's see if I can pronounce this correctly, Batu neckline where it goes straight across. B A T E A U. Well, you didn't have to spell it for me, of course. Because, <laughs> you I mean, yeah, of course. I mean, I knew that the, the bat too. Yeah. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. No. It's vintage. Seafarer, made in Hong Kong cotton. So it looks like seafarer. Yes. Well, it's like that really heavy sweater type stuff. Those are. I like the feel of those. Me too. If we didn't live in Florida, this is something I would keep in my wardrobe. I agree. If I if I didn't live in Florida and needed a sweater, I would definitely be one to be like that. Right? It's yes. very nubby. You see the little yes, nubs? Yes, I do. This reminds me of a fisherman's kind of, like you live on the shore and fish. Okay. Not that. A dollar. Okay. 
What's this uh, fantasy fisherman guy look like in your... No, it's a girl. Oh, okay. She wears cropped like palazzo pants, but they're more structured, maybe linen, ballet flats on maybe dock shoes. You understand my concern? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you have that many details. Okay. The pants are black and the ballet shoes are black. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Okay, I only pick things that made me really happy or I knew I could get a good profit for. Yes. So you won't see pants. I hate pants. <laughs> Five star by Roper. I think Roper is some kind of equestrian brand, right? Size small. It's, it's got a, cactus it's on it. A, it. It would be an equestrian like like shirt, I would say. Yeah, like right? cowboyish. Right? Yes. Yeah. Even the cut of it has a certain thing to it. Yeah. Cacti, cactus. <laughs> and this was originally three dollars, but I got it for one. See, their pricing is pretty good. We were just talking about cactus. We were. Okay, here's the first the first break for the participation. The first break, really? Uh, yep, yeah, first participation. <laughs> Look, oh, oh. Here, here's our participation. Okay. <laughs> Do you folks know how long cactus takes to grow to any length at all? I bet you I could Google it. Let, let's let them do that. They, they, they can tell us. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no come on, I'm serious. It up. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell them. No, you see, you don't know. So it's not. It's about, One inch something, and then it takes 70 years to grow six feet or something? Yeah, like 70 years to grow six feet. Okay. Something like that. This was also a dollar. J. Jill. No, this was not a dollar. <laughs> this was $3. J. Jill linen. Oh, I was going to say that looks like linen before I touched it. Seriously. The girl who wears that sweater would probably also have this in her closet in my head. Okay. It's got some crochet panels. She could also wear this as well, then, right? No, oh, she no. wouldn't wear that. No, she wouldn't. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she only does solids and neutral colors. That's okay. too much of a print for her. I see. Okay. You know, when I was little, I had an imaginary friend. Did you? Yes. You want to tell us? Uh, his name was Nelson, I believe. Yes. Did That's, Nelson wear fisherman sweaters? Well, uh, no, my recollections of Nelson didn't include his clothing too much. <laughs> <laughs> be one another you know what I'm saying? Yeah. This was a dollar! That's great. That's a really nice, uh, it's like a, if, well, I, I don't know this brand, but it feels like North Face. It does. Ish. That's amazing, you know that. Free country. Free oh, hey, country. Man. I live, I'm married to a pro, after all, come on. I don't find North Face or, or buy it. Well, no, but you're saying that I yeah. know that. So. It's a size 2X, black, originally $5. It was a dollar. A size 2X is a girl's size then? Yeah. Okay, all right, this one. Oh, did I, you think it was a man's? Yeah, I didn't know that it was, I didn't know it was definitely a girl's oh. jacket. That, you're saying that's definitely a girl's jacket. I think so. With a sizing like that. Probably, it has to, it has yeah. To be, yeah. It's pretty yeah. We are getting down there. Okay. I only bought this because it was a dollar. The brand does pretty well. It's Alberto Macaulay. Macaulay. See how fancy the label is there? Yes, I do. It's like silkish. Right? It is viscose. But yes, it has a very slinky feel here. Bounce okay. it. Bounce it a little bit. Okay. So it's it's knit. It's got animal print. It's got floral. It feels stretchy too. It is very stretchy. And this is a shirt? It's a sweater. A sweater. Okay. It's a woman's sweater. A dollar. I don't even remember half of this stuff, honestly. Cabbie. Wow, it's very colorful. Right? Cabbie yes. does really well. This is their older label. If you can find the square label, it most likely does better. The style number will always be on there unless somebody cuts it out. I didn't look this up. It was a dollar. <laughs> Paisley print. Has a little bit of a structured fit with the darting. See this pleat right here? It's got some darting to it. Yes. Yeah. Size eight. It probably fit a little smaller with the waist. Have anything to say about that? Oh, tons, but we'll move on. <laughs> <laughs> this is Banana Republic. I will let Bear read the original price. It was a dollar, <laughs> size 16. It was, uh, I was gonna say the name, Banana Republic, J. Crew, Gap, Old Navy. There's a ton more brands that have it, but we'll say what, um, what season it's from and year. So this is from the spring 2004. That's when it was made. 
That's not necessary when it's yes. for, correct? Correct. You mean you could only wear it the spring of 2000? Well, you know how they have spring clothes and they have like winter clothes. Oh, and no, 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 It's no. the season of winter. Got it. Okay. So we'll let Bear read the original price on this. Do you oh, like oh, okay. The original price. Of the, yeah, it's a dollar. I was going to say, I'm, the dollar part, I think I know that. That's You're the original. You're covering. $198. Wow. That's pretty good. It feels like an... 80-ish. Is it 1980s sort of like the feel of it and stuff? And I think it's probably considered more of a super fine wool. It, oh, I think it's a wool brand. Okay. Uh, it is 97% wool, but feel how it's like not fuzzy at all. Yes, I do. Light. Yeah, that's why I was. But is this a vintage thing or is it? Like well, it's from nap? 2004, but it's oh. nap. It's it's mostly okay. nap. Right. It's a one-button classic blazer with pinstripes. <laughs> <laughs> Next, this was an on sale. It was also new. We'll let Bear read the price. This is Chico's. Chico's so hit or miss. I am. Um, Chico's what is, is a there? is a brand. Yes. Like, are they a Chico's store or they yes. they're Chico's store? Chico's store. I don't know that Chico's sells anywhere else besides their website and store. It wouldn't be oh. carried at like another store. <laughs> a target. I don't know. So this is two pieces. It has a detachable camisole with a little bit of lace. It's their size zero, which is an extra small small. Keyhole back. An extra a double zero is an extra just a single zero. They oh. have their own sizing. That's is this just a ploy of theirs to make their customers feel better and bothers you think? Maybe. I, I don't what, know. Uh, what possible reason would they have for being different than the entire rest of I the clothing I think it's a bit more exclusive. Because right, aren't they the only ones that's like different than the rest of all clothing? Not all clothing, but 80% of clothing, I would okay. say. Okay. All right. Well. Okay. Read, read the size. Read the <laughs> read the price. This okay. one's not as expensive. Thank goodness. Okay. $79. Yep. That's still a lot. Now, would this go with the, you know, the jacket I just put down here? No. <laughs> okay. It was three dollars. Okay. And this is the end of the bag. Okay, now, am I just, should I just open the room? It is not the end of the bag. Well, that's the end of the first bag. No, it's not. I dropped something on oh, the floor. okay. Well, that's an old sweater, right? Like it a is. cheerleader type thing. It okay. is. It's cropped. It's got a little bit of fuzziness to the letters. Any kind of razor or delinter. Mm -hmm. Look at that. But yes, I think it's, I guess 80s, made in Australia. It's just a shirt for anybody to wear? Yes. Okay. So it's not any type of uniform. Fourth of July, Flag Day, okay. Memorial Day, Veterans Day. But it's not any type of uniform. That's all I was getting. No. no. One dollar. Okay. Now you can give me the, the bag. The entire bag? Sure. Okay. Well, I'll have to get back. Okay. <laughs> Taiwan. Alright, well for your little cowboys out there. Wait, did your imaginary friend have worn this? Nelson. Hmm. I, I, I mean he may have at one time. <laughs> I think maybe now he's past that. Oh, okay. I mean not, not that he's still around. <laughs> <You know. laughs> no judgment. That's good. I can have an imaginary friend. This is 25 cents. It's from 1940. It's an uncut pattern. So that means nobody used it. I wanted to mention dress patterns because some of them do really well. This one was originally 15 cents. When, okay, but when you say originally 15 cents. Yes, in 1940. That's what it cost in 1940. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can just yeah, yeah. Put it I wanted this for me. It is 
clash. It's a mathematical game. I was in math club. Hey, that's true. Okay, I have no... <laughs> math team, the math team. Perfectly logical to me. Two dollars. Okay. Doesn't look like that. Uh, no. I think it'd be <laughs> I have to say no, but... Uh, Strength in numbers. It's, it's a memory game, really. I have no idea. Okay. They gave me this for a dollar. It is for Tima. Oh, okay. I thought maybe it was we were looking at a real girl purse or something now. You know, for the you know the American girl. Oh. American girl. Nope. Yeah. But that's just a cute little purse. Yeah, I like it. These are a set of four compression socks. They were a dollar fifty, brand new in the package. A dollar fifty. That's an awesome price. This is uh, people that have bad circulation need these, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want to throw a blood clot. That's probably why the circulation is. Yes. This was eighteen dollars, and I bought it. You paid eighteen dollars. I paid eighteen dollars okay. for it. Do you know the brand? Well. I... Don't, don't read it. Oh, okay. Well, no, I, I was just. I couldn't do that. Okay. I was just going to look for something like that. Yeah, it's, it says it right there. Okay, what is it? It is Duty and Burke. Have you heard of Duty no. and Burke? Really? No. It's kind of on the same level. Somebody's going to be offended, but it's kind of on the same level as Coach. Oh, okay. Well, if it had been a Coach bag, I would have probably... Yes, you would have known. This is vintage, and there's a few things I can tell that this makes it real. It definitely smells like leather. All of the stitching is perfect. There's no wonky stitching so straight and then the inside had the made in usa label okay so um it has a lot of character and kind of like looks worn in which some people love and it has the duck key fob which i liked it's a very classic back well no but the the thrift shop knew kind of what yeah. they had yeah. well i don't i don't know these retail not this particular one but duty and burke usually retails for about 300 dollars. but i'm saying didn't that thrift store that you purchased that from? Yeah, it would have never been no, eighteen dollars no, no. less. They had some idea what they it was knew. worth. They knew. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Sure, got no problem with that. But that's pretty impressive that, that they knew that because they're all volunteers there. They are. Okay. But some of them have been there for years and are on a daily basis. Okay. So they're they're amazing humans. That store is just amazing. <laughs> okay. Next piece I also love. If this was aqua, I might keep this, but it's not thankfully. There you go. Okay. You want to hold it up? As soon as I find the top of it. <laughs> Here we go. So this Maybe you can it. try it on for us. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be so small and funny on me. I think it's an extra large. Right. Uh, this is a guy willing to do anything to entertain. You're right. <laughs> In the shop. By I, the way. They don't really He's need six my head. foot six. He really is quite tall. Oh, this is gonna look great on you. <laughs> Are you sure it's all? <laughs> There's a belt. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Yeah, because I, I need a belt. No, I kind of, I kind of like the open look myself. Oh, I think the belt is here. Turn around. Man, first. I was ready to all kind of style this. Oh, go for it. I was, I was go for you it. know, I kind of like the the wrap down look a bit. <laughs> but you know, there's a lot to be said for the. Turn, uh, turn, don't take that off for until the, you the Moses effect. You yes, know, right? <laughs> She's standing. Pockets. Keep your cell phone in there. I got a little. So fun. You look awesome. I think you could pull it off. By the okay. <laughs> your shirt's got a mark on it. Sorry. Right. Okay. What are, we, are we done with that? No, one? no, no. We're not oh, done. We're not done with that. Okay. This was also a dollar. The brand is one of my favorite brands, and I have owned pieces, but I don't find them that often. This is vintage. It's S A N G A M, San Gam. So that is of a, a, a male, a guy's something. Oh no, it's a woman's. Oh really? Because yeah. it's the thing. It's pretty big then. It is. It's it's meant to look very oversized oh, okay. and loose. So think of an artist who might be. Painting a water. Hold on a second now. What what I want to make sure I get the vision right. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Um, it's like oversized mm -hmm. and baggy, and she might have a whole bunch of these kind of like mm -hmm. natural pieces. I really might get 
$50 well, to $100. I mean, I'm not gonna in $100. fairness, what color hair does she have? We, we haven't even covered that. What color hair does this person I think jet black. Okay. Pockets, it's cotton. It's definitely a um, woven cotton. It's that linenish. It is. Bit. It look. It feels linen. Originally three dollars. I mean, I only paid a buck, but three dollars. So worth it. Yes, it's cool. I don't know why somebody didn't buy that on full price day, but yeah, this is something vintage too, sort of, right? It is. I've owned two pieces by them, and I love them. <laughs> we lost something. Chico's, this is their older label. See how it says Chico's design? Mm -hmm. Size two. So this is about a size large. I would say this is one that has a weird sizing, right? Yes. Okay. Linen, it is a sunny, cheerful yellow. It is. Uh, it was $3 and it has mother of pearl buttons. See those yes. shell buttons? Yes, that was, a mother of pearl was one of the finishes of the drums people could get. Oh, did you get them? Uh, yeah, actually, well, the first snare drum I had was a Mother of Pearl. Hmm. Actually, yes. 50 cents. This is adorable. Yeah, it looks brand new. Again, it looks like... Right. Yeah, oh my ever. goodness, it's so cute. Made in France. It's a size 1A, which is probably a French size. Think Hannah Anderson sizing. It's a, you know, it's, it's a 74. So it's definitely like a smaller... What, six to 12 month maybe, baby? Oh, it's so cute. Look at the shiny buttons. It is, it's very nice. Yes. Who priced this for 50 cents? I'm in love with everything I bought. Wow, that's wonderful. Seriously, <laughs> that's so cool. This was a dollar. That is really, that's, uh, again, this thing looks brand new. Right? Yes. Gantos, it's vintage. I love the shoulder pad stitch it. You see how it's like, a, yeah, it's very 80 -ish. Very 80s. It's yes, teal it's and it's got that. I'm guessing this is nylon. It's a raincoat. Detachable hood. It's actually on very heavy in the blue side of teal though. Yeah. It's very nice. Right? Lined, fully lined. Uh the liner buttons out. So you said what kind of liner? Yes. This one would button out. Yes. Is this nylon mm -hmm. with wool? This is polyester with acrylic. Ooh. Those that were does, on both accounts. Doesn't sound good, but it looks wonderful. Oh, look at the buttons. They have like gold crest, a raised gold crest, a shiny gold too. Yeah, it's like a, a very European. Yes. Kind of Love that. <laughs> Oshkosh vintage overalls. Snap completely down the legs. What are these, 80s? My brother probably wore something like this. And the price was a dollar. Let's see if it's size. The tag is kind of faded, so I don't yeah. know that the size is going to be. I'll have to do some measuring. So when there's no size, I basically just take the measurement and then compare it to other people's listings who have measurements. So people want this for their cool baby now, right? Instagram. Right. Plus it's, it, you could go boy, girl, you know. Well, they're doing genderless now. So, so. Yeah. <laughs> this fabric reminded me of LuLaRoe. It's called Liberty Love. So it's probably like a TJ Maxx kind of brand, maybe 10, $15 at TJ Maxx. It's a size small. I really liked the Butter Soft, and I will use Butter Soft in the title. Well, that would probably give us a good opportunity for me to ask what Butter Soft is. Feel it. Okay, but you know why I asked specifically about that, because yes. I've never heard that term before. Yes. Okay. So, LuLaRoe, do you know LuLaRoe? Sure, I, I recognize the name. <laughs> I've owned a lot of LuLaRoe. They're now going bankrupt, question mark? There's a mm -hmm. lot of lawsuits. They specifically use the term butter soft, but they haven't trademarked it. So butter soft is a polyester spandex blend and somehow they get the fabric, let's pretend it's sanded down. Something is, the fabric is treated so it has this very soft feel to it. Yes. I have leggings from LuLaRoe with two pairs of black, which I wear all the time. And even though it's polyester, I do really well with their leggings because they're so soft. That's it.
It was a dollar fifty. It was three dollars with half off blue tag. Did I miss anywhere in there that you were going to explain something about Lou LaRoe? That was it. They, they used the term, they kind of like coined the term butter soft. So Lula people, Road did. Yes. Okay. But it's not trademarked, so you can use it. So you can it. still use it. But, but you see what I'm saying? Like, if they would have just trademarked that, then I don't know that they that. could have trademarked Buttersoft. No, no, no. It's a yeah. good question. Yeah. Because some brands do, St. John comes to mind, which is a high end label. Okay. They've trademarked Santana yarn or Santana knit. So you cannot use Santana. I mean, people do and get away with Unless it. Unless you're Carlos Santana. In which case, you can certainly <laughs> use that. Car I mean, I had to use a Carlos Santana. Shoes. Did you know that's a shoe? Well, company? I know he's a fabulous guitarist, and I couldn't let that go. My people out there were like, is Bear letting that one go? I like <laughs> I'm glad you were. All right, good. Oh, I love this so much. Vintage Alyssa, made in the Philippines. It reminded me, I can't use this again because it's a brand name, Laura Ashley. It has, it's $3, it has banded sleeves. See where there's like a yes. little band that goes around? Yes, I do. I'm going to measure that, and I mention this specifically because this is tiny. If I put this on my arm, I don't know that I could button. I mean, I probably could, but well, it's again, tiny. Well, again, what size is that, though? The, the... It's probably equivalent to a small medium. I don't see a size on it. Oh. But I'm, but I'm saying just because it doesn't fit you doesn't mean it's the right size for you. Correct. But I'm saying I will measure this. I okay. normally don't measure the arm opening so or the wrist opening. So anybody who buys it specifically. Yeah, because I might get somebody that wants it and can fit every other measurement, but then has yeah. not the teeniest little arms. This was, how much was this? This was $3. <laughs> Another fun item. Here, here, you can open it. <laughs> it's a surprise. All I can see is a vest, a cat vest. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this isn't like actual cat fur like we already had no. bunny fur. <laughs> People do use cat fur in crafting. Okay. Did you know that? Well, no, I can't say that I did. It was made by Kathleen. Kathleen, you did an awesome job. This is so, I wish tapestry vests would come back in. A mainstream. Well, I mean, don't we all, Shut really? Up. I mean, <laughs> it would be great if you could let this whole process in. <laughs> like, right up to where you spit on my whole entire arm with that top burst. Oh, it's weird sitting on the side. We're switching because it's a, my neck being off to one side too long <laughs> drives me crazy. Bear doesn't have the best neck. <laughs> like, yeah, okay, sure, let's say that. Okay. Sure, that's what it is. It's bad <laughs> neck. That's what you want to call it. Let's just call it that. This is a dollar. The old cat print. Oh, I love it. It's it's a tapestry. Okay. So this has to be sewn, right? Yes. Either by machine. So I'm sure not. This Kathleen is by, did it. No, it's by machine. Yes, Kathleen used a machine, <laughs> but yes, Kathleen okay. made it. Okay. She had her own tags printed. Okay. I don't recognize this at all. Oh, lands. This is vintage. A lot of the stuff I bought was vintage. So it's got a modest waist, a longer length, pockets, long sleeves. It comes up pretty high. Modest plum purple, shiny gold buttons with a crest you can let it down. Lance does okay. I can picture my, my grandmother wearing this, and then I can totally picture somebody rocking this with like cowboy boots or Doc Martens. This is not vintage. It a, has records, albums, I know, as but it's wheels. a I know. Yeah, that's, yeah. So the brand is Wit Uga, but it was organic cotton, and look, this looks brand new. Feel it. Okay. Uh, See what I mean. I mean. But is this a low, is this like, could this be on different shirts? I have no idea. Just, oh, okay. I don't know if they trademarked it or not. Oh. Uh, Size extra, extra small. So pale pink is like the color. Coral is the color of the year, a Pantone color. You know, the people that pick the colors. <laughs> no, I, that's, I didn't know any of that stuff, but I was trying so hard to play along with the time like I did, because I didn't want to interrupt. So, so this is millennial pink. Yes, 
I like it. <laughs> good. Okay. So this was also a dollar. That was good. Okay. Surprise. It feels like thermal underwear. It is thermal underwear. Long johns. Fruit of the Loom. Fruit of the Loom has banded leg openings, banded ankles, mm -hmm. and stretched the elastic for me. Okay. Do you hear any tearing or ripping? Or where the elastic is tearing? No, I can't say that I do. But I can also say with almost 100% certainty <laughs> that that is the first time I've ever <laughs> listened as I pulled on a pair of underwear. <laughs> Honestly. I, don't I have to say that. Um, so anything with elastic, just basically anything, but especially vintage, you want to really make sure because some things stretch and then don't go back because it's old elastic. Oh, okay. So you really want to make sure to stretch it out a that. ton before somebody gets it. But these were in excellent condition, $3. I loved them. I, I honestly will try these on and possibly keep them. The elastic I would have to flip over because I don't like elastic. But. Sounds good. Sounds like a great one. It is very colorful. Hold it up. Okay. I was trying to find the top of oh. top of it. If there is a top. Oh, it's just scarves or something. Nope. These were two dollars, so a dollar each. I, am I supposed to know what this is? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, it's a pillowcase. Uh, okay. okay, it's a pillowcase. I was like, I was getting feeling pressured. No. Yeah. So this is a cotton pillowcase, and the brand is. Let's see if I know the brand. It is Dean Miller Surf Bedding. So see how this label has not printed, but it's like stitched onto the label. See how this this top label has a print? Yes. And this one is, is definitely more yes. woven yes. in. Yes, yes. So usually these labels aren't put on very cheap okay. items. Okay. So Dean Miller Surf Bedding, I didn't look it up because honestly my phone was at the bottom and I just wasn't playing that game for 100 pieces. But I like it. Sure. It's got the wagon. What do we call it's this? It's very surf. It's a surf look. It is. It's a, and it's a woody. It's a I, woody. That's a, oh, yes. good job. So a dollar a piece. Great. Do you like them? Sure. Do you want to keep them? No. They're shams. Well. See how they have stitching? The pillowcase doesn't come the whole way. So these are pillow shams. They're not Sam, Sham, and the Pharaohs, are they? Music reference. Oh. <laughs> Sam, Sham, and the Pharaohs. It's a band. This was two dollars worth any every penny. Let's, let's have you try that on. <sighs> There's no trying this on, right? Yeah. Oh, is this an apron? Okay. I don't. I don't think I need to model this. <laughs> this is an apron. It's a kid's apron. Yeah. This is vintage. I'm gonna guess the American Girl is Samantha, but I'll have to look it up. It's twall. So the print is T-O-I-L-E. Mm -hmm. It's usually a two-tone with that very floral, kind of landscape-y print. It is American Girl. It so is, this is for a doll then? No, this is for a girl. They made clothing for oh. the doll that matched the girl. So 1995, which is why I'm guessing it's Samantha, Pleasant Company. It's the tiniest tag. So if you didn't know what this was, you'd probably miss it. But older Pleasant Company items do fairly well. If I would have found the girl's apron to go with this, the, the American girl, it probably would have done better. But for $2, still. Okay, well, that's a perfect example of what you know. You know so much stuff about so many things. I was saying that to you the other day. This is a dress. It is a dress. If it's a corduroy. It feels cor is it it's corduroy. It's not corduroy. I feel it. That's what I was trying to is it leather? It is. It's pig leather. Oh. Oh, it's the year of the pig. That has nothing to do with anything. Sorry, so, pigs. <laughs> so it's not really pig leather? It is. Oh, it is pig leather. It's pig skin. It's pig skin. Okay, so yeah. some pigs had to die for this, right? Yes. That's fine. I mean... Bear was raised what? on a pig farm. Well, yeah, it was not necessarily a pig farm, but yes, my dad, dad and I raised... We still live where we live. Where he lived, just you have to drive down for the... He raised pigs. Pig there you go. We in raised a very pigs. rural area. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. But probably 80s, very fitted. Yes. Um, I, I could picture my mom wearing this, honestly, in the 80s. 
made in Korea. Okay. The brand didn't matter. It was Lauren Alexandria Petite. This is something people would want no. now. Oh, for sure. For now. 80s it's... parties. Oh, okay. Um, and just how well made this is. This is well constructed. This will probably last your lifetime. Okay. <laughs> well. I paid ten dollars. <laughs> Love it. We're like halfway there. Oh man. <laughs> don't don't use that fast forward button. You stay with us. <laughs> Another pillow sham. I loved the scalloped edges, the pale purple. It's lavender. It is such a sweet color. Like that's so a pretty. that's a perfect explanation of that. Thank you. A sweet color. That, Isn't that's, it? Yes, it has that feel. It makes, yes. makes you feel that way. Made in Portugal. Mm -hmm. Something's made in Portugal or a country that is in China or isn't, if we're just being honest, it, it most likely is well made. This was a dollar. They had it for two in this blue tag, a dollar. So pretty. I'm guessing it's a European sham, but I'll have to measure it. Hmm. European sham has a little bit of a different measurement. It's, I'm going to call it a, a jacquard or brocade fabric. Uh, I have to call you on the jacquard. I've heard the brocade from you, but it's kind of the same thing. I'll have to look up both terms and compare them, but it's a similar. Okay, so the G word again, jacquard? Oh, it's a J. J, jacquard, jacquard. Jacquard. Okay, uh, well, I'm just trying to get in my yeah. head. Oh, you don't right. have to memorize all <laughs> I know, but at least I, because I said I, that, that when you use a term yeah. that I'd never heard before, I always kind of cry. Love that. That was aqua. We would be keeping it. <laughs> just to put a pillow in. I know. Okay. Another pillowcase. Oh, somebody's donated a lot of pillowcases in this place, right? Okay. Oh, they have a large linen section. Two dollars. Pretty sure this one was Pottery Barn, which anything Pottery Barn I almost pick up. This one is not Pottery Barn. Oh, I loved this color. <laughs> oh, it is Crown Crafts. I've owned Crown Crafts before. See how the, the label isn't printed again? Yes, indeed I do. Uh, made in the mm -hmm. USA. So again, if something's made in the USA, it's going to cost more than whatever. This is called a coverlet, coverlet. This is called a coverlet sham in Antoinette. So this has a very particular style name. I will type that in. Makes my job really easy. Is this the pattern? What do you, they're referring to? I honestly don't know. Oh, okay. I, I'm guessing it's the pattern. It could be the style. It could be color. I don't know what they're calling this. But it was $2. Loved it. Last pillow. This one is Pottery Barn. <laughs> this also could have been Ikea in my head. This was $2.50. No reaction. <laughs> well, I, I, mean, <laughs> I didn't know. It's very colorful, but... It's quilted on the front, so it has yes. some, like, padding... Yeah, the, only the front is quilted. It's yes. The ones in the back are like sheeting, yes. cloth yes. sheeting. Mm -hmm. This is from June 2008. I wish Pottery Barn, I'm sure they're listening, made in India. So again, I wish they would put the style or the print name on the label. It would make my job a little bit easier, but I'll find the exact print. Well, just so you know how to refer to it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Those are fun. <laughs> We're gonna be here until like nine o'clock. <laughs> right. uh, shorts. I mean, just they're not trunks, so no, they're no. just gym shorts. What's the brand name? Umbro. Have you recognized this name yet? They're a soccer-ish company. The style is more vintage though, with these squares. Okay. Kind of like eighties a little bit, right? Which would be kind of cool now, right? Yes, very cool. But the, I thought these were vintage. They're not. But I paid a dollar fifty. Still worth it. These are men's. Southern Marsh shorts. Yes. They have a print of a duck print. Coral with navy. Very preppy classic. <laughs> That's a thing, I guess. Preppy is. I will for sure use preppy. So think of a businessman who goes out to the Hamptons to summer on weekends and his family is there. He wears boat shoes. 
Um, the waist was a good size, though. I think these were 44. Let's see, they are 40. They are 40. Th these are your size, a little bit bigger. What do you think? I was going to say, theoretically, you're saying I should fit in those, which yes. would seem absurd to me. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Don't you think? Uh, I don't know. Like, there's no way. Well, lengthwise. But, you know, they do look a little small. Yeah. Well, I'll just measure it. This is for me. This had no label. It was a dollar. I'm guessing it was probably Jones of New York just by the hardware. Okay. But for a dollar. Oh! See how good I am. My goodness, what does that even say? Jones, New York! Mmm. I'm even amazed at myself. Cotton three-quarter sleeves. This is just wear around the house type of thing. That's the only way you could find out what this was. Yeah, the, the all the tags were off. It is going to be oversized on me. This is probably a large or extra large. Not that it matters. Honestly, I've got all sizes, but I liked how soft it was. This is just a wear around the house. Yeah. It's cotton. Mm -hmm. We're very fond of cotton here at the farm and crib. Yeah. Takes me a while to realize what the heck I'm looking at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. It's a an ape, oh, it's a dress. It's a dress. It's a dress. Do you want to guess the material? I would say this is a, like a cotton, cotton like linen. I'm guessing it is linen. Linen. J. Dill loved linen, size large. But I'm saying, does this have cotton in it as well? Oh, well, that's straight oh. up linen. I shouldn't say no. I'm guessing I it's just, not. 100% linen. Okay, so that's an actual kind of yep. what? Plant? Plant. Okay. Fiber. Okay. This was five dollars, but I'll probably get twenty-five-ish dollars for this. You knew that by the name? Yeah, Love Linen by J. Jill does pretty well, especially okay. this is a large petite, but a large, if it's not like extra, extra small petite, then then I'll pay up for it. I've sold Love Linen many times before that. The blue and white stripes are pretty classic for some. I'm sure. There's a very logical reason as to why you would purchase one bar of soap. <laughs> I wanted to, again, research soap for myself. So sometimes to do that, I'll spend a little bit. This is 50 cents. I should be able to flip this easily for $5 plus shipping. Vintage products do pretty well. Victoria's Secret, Bath and Body, old brands that are known brands do pretty well. How do you know that this is an old Oh, I, I recognize so. this is probably from the 80s. You recognize that from the label? Uh-huh. Is there any other way to know? Probably not. No. You you know just looking at this, this is an older brand. That's exactly right? my point. If you said, hey, go down to Walmart, <laughs> go down to Walmart, give me one bar of ivory soap, I'd be like, okay, here, I brought this back to you from... 50 cents would be a decent price for soap too, but no. No, that's what I'm saying. Why would you buy? You would have, you would know that you knew that was worth more than, is more to it than a bar of soap. I knew that my research was going to be worth more than 50 cents to just research brands of soap. If you look around the house, any single thing, there's going to be brands that are worth a lot more, vintage or non-vintage. A lamp. There are lamps out there for hundreds of thousands of dollars. A trash can. On eBay, I look up trash can, I go high to low. I wanted to do that with soap, and I was willing to pay 50 cents for that research, and I knew this was an older bar of soap. Seriously, it's amazing to me the amount of knowledge that's in your head, because, no, because that's, like, you knew by looking at that 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 was something that might possibly be worth more than it appears. Yes. And you do that, when you know by, you know that in so many areas, it's mind-boggling to me. Or it's I'm okay. willing to it's take okay. a risk. Well, no, it's more than that. You know a ton of stuff. It's so, only worth a couple of dollars. So, yay, we all love our girl here. Let's say it. <laughs> okay. This is a singlet, a wrestling singlet. Yes. By Everlast. But that's for a little kid, right? I, I don't know, honestly. The size is on here. It's a small. It might be a woman's small. Because it has a shelf bra. So the spell out lettering I liked. This is called spell out. Okay. When it's spelled out, but that's kind of a popular keyword for this kind of thing. And these brands that either say anything from Gap to Supreme, 
Did you recognize Supreme from Slobby's World? Well, does Everlast, for example, own some right to, like, as soon as you see that type of lettering, you know that that's them. I don't know if they own the font. There you go. They could, a lot of fonts yes. are used specifically. Yes. Think Disney. You can't use that font on right. something you're going to sell. Exactly. Yeah, but loved it. It's tiny. It, it really fit. <laughs> it's going to be a really tiny piece, but um, huh? yeah. Okay. Oh, these were $2 a piece. So again, I'm going to use these in my packaging. I love oh. using planting cards. Palm trees. <laughs> Upside down palm trees. That's okay. So they went to $2. It's clearly vintage. That doesn't matter necessarily. And there should be about a hundred in here. So what is that? Two cents a piece for mm -hmm. packaging. <laughs> so I put Dymo stickers on these. I can easily print them out and Dymo uses thermal printing. So it's not ink. And I put a little saying that says like, it's in the cards for you to love your item. Kind of silly, but packaging. Look how fun these are though. They are very fun. Florida. <laughs> And San Francisco Delta Airlines. Hmm. Cute. Those were probably given away at some point, right? I would think so. They're so, what, 60s? Yeah, what's 70s? that? And I loved this plastic carrying case with glitter. I might be able to sell the carrying case. It's, it's branded. Tan Craft. So I paid $2 for each one of those. These were $4 for the pair. They are brass. Brass sometimes does pretty well and sometimes not as well, but I liked, I loved them. They're, they're clearly bookcases. You'll be able to put a book against this. You're holding it upside down. Flip that really? 90 degrees. This is the base. This is a flying bird. He's flying oh, like this. I get you. So this is the part that goes against the yes. books then. Yes. Thank you. So they're not branded. This one might be. I don't think that's a brand. So. I just thought these were really cool. Yeah. I don't pick up all brass. I shouldn't have picked up these most likely. I might make $10, but I, I loved them. Uh, if you can make $10, that's a great yeah. reason to pick them up. Thanks. Yes. Oh, stay with us, folks. Only one more bag to go. This is itchy. This was a dollar. It's very fun. It is very fun. It's a shawl oh. with white yarn fringe. Hmm. I'm guessing somebody handmade this. I'm nearly positive I bought my mom a shawl at one point or another for Christmas. Uh, I'm guessing it was handmade. Yeah. Yeah, because it looks like not, I mean, it's great, yeah. but it doesn't look machine. No, it doesn't. Which makes it even greater in my mind. Right? Yeah. Who spends their time doing that? Bags are so huge. This would cost so much at the bins. There's gotta be like 100 pounds of clothing here, right? Yeah, I mean, it might even be worth it at the bins if you'd ever find that much amount of clothing. But... I don't know, especially the jackets. I would have paid $2 a pound. Okay. This was a dollar. It's obviously a leather jacket. It is a leather jacket. It's a size 44 and it was made in Korea. So 44 is usually a European size. So I'll have to measure it. This could be either, right? You That's think? what I think, yes. So I didn't, I didn't yeah. know how to ask that. The lining zips out with metal zippers. So metal zippers aren't used commonly. It just has a little, a little mend. But this is, what's the brand name? Hides? at Alexander's. I don't know. Cool. Tapestry. This is a football, soccer ball, baseball, sports. <laughs> you really have a tough time with that. Yeah, well, I mean. Painted I Pony. They are known for their kind of tapestry coats. It's a size large. This was a dollar. It's very cool. Right? Yes. It's really cool. Like. No, it's is got this, is pewter this buttons. Code? It is. Okay. Um, and and again, this this brand. Look at the label. Okay. See how the label oh, yes. is different. 
Yeah. You know this is something if they it, have that I mean, kind of... It feels like it's printed on a little piece of leather. Yeah, it does. I don't think it is. I think it's some kind of fiber, but it's made in the USA. Yeah. Um, I'm not cool enough to pull this off, but I can see this with high-waisted, classic, like, mom jeans. When you're, when, why are you not able to pull this off? I'm not cool enough. Oh, you're not cool enough? Yeah. I mean, seriously, okay. where would I go? But, well, okay. yeah, this would be adorable, oversized with mom jeans. It's, it's cotton too. It feels really nice. Oh, I had to take that off. It's heavy. Wow. This is Indigo Moon, which used to be sold at QVC. It's cool, right? Well, it looks like a costume for a play. Oh, I can see that. Picture this with black, like a black camisole or undershirt and black pants at a wedding. Very cool. Look at the buttons. Even the buttons are nice. Have we previously mentioned your use of the term rockin', rockin' it? Yes, I've said that a couple times. Okay. I'm, I'm in a rockin' mood, clearly. Okay. It's a size medium. All right. Oh, and it has the style number, which starts with an A, which I'll put into the QVC website, and they should still have that information. I don't think they sell that brand anymore. So you're saying that was only available through QVC? Yes. Okay. And you just happen to know that? Yes. Okay. Plus it has an A, a style that begins with like an A on the tag, which is usually a QVC thing. Okay. A dollar. This that, is That has a very ori right? oriental look to it. I it, agree, yes. yes. It's beautiful. It, it is. It is really so is. beautiful. It is machine embroidered or woven. This might be reversible. But even again, if it, I mean, machine, but still yeah. really nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's you know gorgeous. I mean? yeah. yeah, it's fully reversible. It's amazing. Uh, here's the thing. I might only get 20 or $30 for it, maybe not even. Uh, they went to originally $4, but I got it for a buck. But it's gorgeous. Somebody's going to love this. Well, what did this originally cost somebody? I honestly have no idea. This thing could be, this thing, this jacket could be sold, you know, at roadside markets, tourist shops in Chinatown. I have no idea if it's... Oh, okay, you don't know. Okay. Yeah, but gorgeous. Mm hmm Feels very silky. It is. Look at the colors. Oh, yes. This is like sky blue and aqua or mint. This is such a unique color. The two tone, right? Yes, it's amazing. This was a dollar. The buttons are all there, shiny, shiny. They have um, like a consignment shop. This wasn't them, but it says watercolor jacket from the 1960s. Oh. It has a few little. It's not even a pull, I don't think. It's just a crease mark where it was folded. But 1960s, this is stunning. Mandarin color. The buttons are incredible. Look at them. They have yes, rhinestones. On the very ends of them. Yeah. Do you yeah, see those like three? They do. They're really fake? tiny. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Yes. And they're shank buttons, so it has a loop instead of the two holes on the top. Oh, that one's, that one's got a safety pin. <laughs> so does that one. Oh, they're all safety pins. Oh, they're all safety pinned. They're not sewn on for some reason. Oh, okay. I'm gonna sell them like that. Beautiful. Clearly I've hit the jacket bag. This was huh. a dollar. This is the Stretch Velour. Feel it. Yes. Um, Coldwater Creek, size medium. This probably retailed for $60 to $80. Coldwater Creek's a little pricey sometimes, but they have a ton of sales. Shoulder pads are easy to cut out. I always mention that in case somebody doesn't want shoulder pads. A dollar. White, black? Nope. Home market. House market. White house, black market. White house, black market. This is a solid black blazer size. Six. Um, it has a line through the label, which usually means it was sold at a discounted price, like in a clearance shop or their discount factory store. Okay. 
but it feels really nice. It's got a really nice weight to it. It's fully lined with the puffed shoulders and a green gables. Do you know that reference? She always wanted puffed oh. shoulders. Oh, I know the name, but I don't know what it yeah. meant. Covered buttons. They originally wanted $5. I paid a dollar. We're almost there. Okay, Chico's design, size two, denim jacket, fully lined. I love when you can roll up the cuffs and you see a different color. That's a fun pop. So their sleeves have to be longer than most people, right? People. Uh, it's not meant to do that, so this is probably just like a regular sleeve length, but if you wanted to roll it up and wear it as a three-quarter length, you could. Okay. Le suit. Le suit. Paris, New York, size 10. This classic blazer, and I'm going to call it a classic blazer, could be worn with black pants easily because of the black. It probably originally came with a matching skirt, but most people have a black skirt. Not me, not you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was a dollar. I might get like $20, $25 out of this. I remember our post office in Dilltown, okay. which has since limited their hours because Dilltown ha has, I mean, how many people does Dilltown Yeah, I'm have? not sure they even still have a post office on us. Oh, really? I'm not sure. I knew they were talking about closing their one. Okay. <laughs> one of their, their only employee, it was, it was the smallest post office ever. Um, she wore this brand. Oh, really? But when she knew I was selling on eBay, this was probably like 2002. She asked me to keep an eye out for this brand and size. Was that Cindy? Yes. Classic. I love the color. This blue is so pretty. What would you call that shade of blue? Uh, it doesn't seem descriptive enough just to say deep. Yeah, maybe a royal deep blue? Royal blue. I would call that royal blue, yes. This is also a dollar. Okay. It's just a vest? It is a vest. Okay. The brand is Moxie Equestrian. Equestrian items are usually expensive because people that own horses okay. usually have some money. Horses are expensive. Yes. So this is like a faux Sherpa. Sh faux Sherpa. A fake Sherpa? Yeah, just, yeah, that's what they call it. But we've, we've done this like... <laughs> faux Sherpa. <laughs> <laughs> right. Is that what you said? <laughs> no. No, it's <laughs> Sherpa. 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 No, no. It's Sherpa. faux Sherpa. You said faux Sherpa. That's right? what it's usually. Okay, faux referred. Sherpa. Well, yeah. the faux usually means it's fake, fake right? Yeah. yeah. So is there a real Sherpa uh, out there? That's what I'm asking. Not Sherpa. <laughs> Oh, come on, man. Sherpa. Okay, Sherpa. Is there a real Sherpa out there? I don't there? think so. There I were think Sherpa usually <laughs> refers to the person who helps people climb cold mountains, like the Himalayas or, I don't know, other mountains. But the, the fabric is referred to as faux Sherpa. Love it. Love it. Love it. But the we never determined that. Together. No, we're moving on now. <laughs> okay, just saying. We didn't determine that. Yes. Size two, feel this again. This has that same, ooh, hair. It's like suit material. This is a suit material. This is a like super fine, I, I don't think it is, but super fine 120 is usually the term. This has brand new with tags. It's eco, it's made out of plastic bottles. Wow, that's really cool. Right? I had a, the only suit I ever owned was oh. nearly exactly like this. Only I had, it had red specks in addition with the blue. It was custom made for you. Yes. I we donated that about 10, 15 years ago. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so the brand again is Eco. Nope. The brand is Jock and Amelia. I didn't look this up clearly, but the fact that it has water bottles. Oh yeah. Uh, it's so cool. it's nice. Yeah. Left this color. Oh, it's cool. Yeah, it's uh, it's like dark teal green, emerald maybe. Yes, I would lean toward emerald. Dana Buchman, Butch, Butchman, Butchman. 
a vintage label, size six. I did really, really incredibly well with a skirt I had of the same label. It went over $100 and I couldn't tell you why. Uh, this is linen. Okay. It feels almost like that same fabric. Like it's a... Well, not it exactly. Feel, yeah, it could have been done, polished But well. it's very similar. It's yeah. Very similar. Hidden snaps, mm -hmm. nice huge pockets. Definitely you could put a cell phone or two decks of playing cards in there. Yeah, if you, one was so enticed to carry two decks of playing cards. With Four, you could, I mean. Sure. So this is a, a girl's jacket? Yes, woman's. Woman's jacket, okay. One dollar. Yes. One dollar. That, well, that's a cool looking jacket there. This is also um, <laughs> Chico's, but this is the black label Chico's and it's it's their like premium oh. brand, size zero, so it's like an extra small, small. The the label is on a chain. Oh, extra. Looks like something Elvis wore. Really? Mm -hmm. I could also see this at a very fancy event if somebody got cold. Like they'd have a black cocktail dress and this over it, or even a pantsuit. Right? Sure. Oh my goodness. Mm. You would think this would be a very similar brand. Yes. It is not. It is also White House Black Market. It just says white black. So if you didn't know White House Black Market, you might not know that, but that's what it is. You used to be able to put in the title WHBM and eBay would know it was White House Black Market. So I'll check that and put that at the bottom of the screen. Okay. So White House Black Market is a very long. Sure. But loved the details on this. Look at that like grow grain ribbon yes. stitching. Yes. So it's pretty. Cool. Mm -hmm. This would have been an expensive jacket. Another jacket. One dollar. Ann Taylor. Ann Taylor. Size mm -hmm. zero. Houndstooth used to be so in. Maybe like 2008. It was a, a big trend. But I could really see this with anything from lime green pants to red high heels and pants. You can match this color with so many things, right? Like pick a color. Well, again, I, I'm, I hate to ask this again, yes. but uh, who are you picturing doing this? Is this like a 20-ish female? Is this teenagers now want something that's really- I think somebody that worked at a professional office, like when I sold cars. So you were talking late 20s to 40 some female. Yeah, probably. even I could see somebody in their 70s, 80s rocking oh. this. Okay. There's a Instagram handle I follow that I'll put on. It's like aging something and they follow around older women. And by that, I mean like 60 plus 90 something, 100 something who are just so unconventional old lady. Okay. And I think that's a fabulous look too, old lady. If you love to dress like funky floral tapestry shoes. Am I losing you? <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to be with you 100% here. Okay. So see how the waist has a seam and then darts out? It creates a very nice line that's called peplum. So I'll use peplum in the title, <laughs> don't make me. <laughs> We're moving on. It's peplum. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is our mail. I threw that in there. Hmm. Look at those ties. Yes. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. This is DKNY, Sedona Karen, New York <laughs> City. Yes. Extra small, small. And again, that tapestry look. And I loved that they had the two cords on the top to tie. So unique. And look at the buttons. Yes, those are very cool. Hmm? You don't see buttons like that often. Mm -hmm. This is a hoodie. Okay, yes. <laughs> that Hooded sweatshirt. And the brand is? Cactus? I have no idea. I can't see. Cactus. Cactus. Okay, so, so that's not a high-end brand. But this... These are just words that they decided yes. to put on there. They're not so. So this is a pet lover. There's dog. There's cats. There's bones. There's paw prints. It says, even. What does that even say? Even through your love, even though your love is small, it says. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Even though your love is small, I will oh, always treasure mm. you. You come as a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> 
dog print. Love it. The rhinestones are fun. It is a size small. Adorable though. I wonder if my sister would want this. She wouldn't wear this, right? Why not? I could see see wearing really? it. Really? Sure. It was originally three dollars, but it was a jacket, so it was a dollar. I'll have to take a picture. She's getting a new puppy in eight days. Yeah. Oh, this was my first find. They did charge me full price, which was three dollars. Smells nice, right? It smells really good. <laughs> I, I was it's wondering. not even a strong smell. You know when sometimes it's like, whoa, perfume. This is just like a faint, nice smell. Right. This is Logo Lounge. So Logo is made by Lori Grenier. Lori Goldstein. Good job, Brie. It's made by Lori Goldstein for QVC. Her pieces retail for and sell for $50 to $100. So this sweatshirt was probably $50. It is a small size. It's extra, extra small. But was that only available on QVC? Only QVC she does. She okay. does a lot of these like very soft, layered, longer pieces. How does she get to be somebody that can just sell on QVC? That's all I'm saying. She has probably sold clothing her whole life. Uh, okay, that's what I'm saying. So yeah. she, she, QVC saw her and said, yeah, we'll yeah. do. Okay. And now she's exclusive. Not all brands yeah. are because they sell Dyson. They sell, you know, I'm like QVC watcher all the time because honestly, the description words are so good. They're going to say what color pink, like not pale pink. They will call this light rose water or I, I think that'd be a great color, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, so nice. Chiffon Swiss dot two tiered. I mean, they really get, which is awesome. It's somebody who wants to so know that specific. Yeah. This definitely had another label because it would have had the style number and it's missing it now, but this will be easy enough to find. Okay, guess who might be keeping this one? Well, it is dangerously close to aqua. Yeah. I would say that. I like all shades of blue. Yeah. This was a dollar. It's a heavy cotton cardigan zip up. You want to try it on? Sure. Okay. It's a, a medium. Land's end, it should fit me. Okay. Oh, it's snuggly. I'm oh, sorry. It's a great <laughs> <guy>. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> it did kind of hurt. <laughs> okay. It's snuggly. Yeah, I think, well, it's easier, just keep it. I might. I said that about like four things. Okay, so they wanted $8.50 and I paid half off for this, so $4.25. The brand I have sold before and does really well. It's so specific. It's called Componics. Components, I would say so. Again, made in the USA. Okay. Good label. Mm -hmm. See how it's stitched? Yep, right. Um, this is a three piece. It reminds me of Carol Little pieces made in Germany which do pretty well. Um, it just reminds you of those pieces? It's, yes. Okay. So that's a good thing? Yes, I mm. love that. Mm. This is, I might sell the top separately. We'll see. Okay. You can show it, it's a skirt. But it's- Oh, it's pants. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's not Oh my skirt, goodness, I it? like it so much better now. Okay. Oh, it's like Palazzo Gaucho. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Yeah, I was just thinking of a whole bunch of words you've never thought of. <laughs> And spew them out and say that's what these pants are like. Look at the panels of different, there's three different kinds of material that somebody has pieced together and vaguely matched and now it's like a mist match print. Mm. Look at even the waist. It folds over like a turban almost. You know when people wear like a turban and not, it's so good. It doesn't have elastic. That's, that's weird. Oh, the elastic is stretched out. Oh, yes. That might not be a big deal for somebody. I'll measure it. It still has a tie though, doesn't it? Yes. So, yeah, no. so cool. Okay, so there's that. Then this is the short sleeve. Here, hold this up. Okay. Or cap sleeve. I guess this has a cap sleeve. Which it's just is, a blouse, right? Yeah, it's, it's exactly what it is. A blouse mm -hmm. with lace. Look at that lace. Oh, it's very cool. So this is handmade, sort of, I mean, like... No, uh, no, this would have been machine stitch. Okay. Um, ram. Okay. And then the jacket is cropped. This is like quintessential, what, late 80s, 90s, probably more 90s. I'd say so, yes. Oh, love it. Two more pieces? Okay. This looks like, oh, this is a scrub 
top. This was $1.50 oh, really? on sale. Oh, okay. This is, what's the brand? Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> Grey's Anatomy size 5X blue scrub top. 5X? Well, that's, that's something I'd fit in, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do you need a scrub top? <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, you would, you would tell me. Okay. Two more pieces, three more pieces, four more. Okay. Tommy Hilfiger silk tie. A very cool print. Hold it up. Nobody's going to be able to see it. Very cool. When you wore ties, this would have been a great tie for you. Yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> Let's go back to those bad memories. <laughs> when I wore ties. Variegated ties. Oh I completely get it. I would, oh my goodness. <laughs> Putting anything by my neck and... But pink silk, two bucks. Very cool though. I love it. I love it as well. Navy blue, very loose knit. So you'd absolutely have to wear something underneath this unless you wanted to show everybody your business. <laughs> Joseph A. It's like a Macy's brand, size large. Good. Okay. It was $1.50. I like the looseness of it. Sure. It's probably cotton. What do you think? It feels, uh, it does feel like it 100%. It's still though. even, yeah. Acrylic nylon. It's made in November of 2002. So it's not cotton at all? Not cotton at all. Okay, but it does have a cotton feel to it. Yeah. Oh. This was a fantastic last piece. Oh, I was going to say his last piece. This is men's. This might have been the only men's past the tie. Okay. Burberry. Burberry. <laughs> Burberry. Okay. Yeah. Extra large men's. This was $4. I paid full price for this. So Burberry, you've heard me talk about before. Yes, I have. It's, it's fairly yes. high end. Right. I might only get, I don't know, 40, 50 bucks for this. And by only, I mean, if you had a Burberry Nova check, that's a trademark print. So they've trademarked Nova okay. check. Um, right. It's a very specific plaid. This isn't right. that. But if this was Nova check, I, I could probably get over $100 for it. But it's not. But still, it's totally worth it. All right. Cotton. Free bags. That's it. <laughs> One, two, three. Bloomies. Bloomies. We hope, hope your day, day is blooming with, with joy. joy. Bye. Bye. I know. I follow your emails closely. <laughs> so awesome. A dollar. Yeah, I'm going to wipe you guys out, I think. That's fine. <laughs>
such a good sale. For the glorious gift of his love and the blessings that hallow our days in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet Shall meet on that beautiful shore.